Hey everybody, it's Gamerogi. We're back with Riven. Last time, uh, Riven was having some serious issues. <laughs> I'm not really sure what was going on, but uh, hopefully we won't have any more of those crazy antics going on. And uh, and then we uh, tried to follow a prisoner guy, but uh, we lost him. And now we're here on this other island where I guess they're making paper out of trees. And he's also catching frogs over here. Very cool looking frogs. But anyway, we're gonna continue on. This island has more stuff to explore. Do you believe it? Do you? Well, I hope so, because check it out. Wah. See this, uh, see this bridge over here? How do we get on that bridge? How do we get over there? Well, this is really trollish. And I remember getting stuck on this. Forever, I probably had to look this up because I did not notice. But if you close these doors when you're inside, we have two pathways behind where the doors were on the left and right. Yep. <laughs> I had a lot of trouble finding that as a kid. I remember that. It was like, oh my god. It's another spinny dome. Hello, spinny dome. Where's your uh, scope a little bit? Oh, there's a little hole over there. That looks scope a lopish. A little bit scope a lopish. Look at that, they pull it twice on you. Crazy doors behind doors. You can't do that, that's rude. That's very rude. Alright. Uh, yeah. It's the vertical eye. So I've been writing this stuff down and editing. I should probably get on that now. So, okay. This is... The vertical eye is in the island with... The thing that's in a hole. Just work with me here. I, it makes sense. Basically, this dome... Uh, we're gonna have to find it on that weird uh, topography map we saw, right? But because it's underground, it's kind of hard to spot. But if you look up, there's a big old hole here. So in the topography thing, uh, we're gonna see a big hole, <laughs> basically. And that's where the dome is. So, very important. And I think this might be the only one that's inside like that. Look at that, perfect. Got the code right on the first try and everything. Man, oh man. All right, well, there we go. Oops, it up, sit up. All right, let's go check out what's on this side. Oh my God, we're going to that building again. And uh, there's a cable over there. It's going along the path now. To this! Uh, I don't know what that is yet. I don't know if I want to pull that. Do I? Oh, it's locked on this side! What does it do? It powers... This pipe? Huh. Okay. Well, I'll check that out later. Oh my god, this is the bridge to the big dome. Okay. Maybe I'll check that out now. Flop <laughs> it. Turned it off. So, can you remember anything pipe-like that we saw recently? Maybe not. It was in the last part. <laughs> so we head back over here where the froggies are. Oh, remember this fan with the pipe? Uh-huh. We turned it off. Now we can crawl in here because we're like really, really skinny. Really, really skinny Slenderman. Oh, yeah. The mother load. Check out where we are now. Um, It's really fancy. Laboratory? I guess. I think it's a lab. I don't really know. I'm gonna open this door. Just so it's open. 
I don't know if it stays open though. Nope, but I'm pretty sure it's unlocked now. Kind of hard to tell. A tram button uh, on this door, even though the tram is on this side. Remember that? Remember that side where it crashed on me while I was going down the stairs? Uh-huh. Shortcut. Okay, now let's check out what's going on. Oh boy, there's a lot. There's a lot in here. Okay. So let's see. We have... Look at this. Oh, yeah, here's the tree with the five-star pattern in the middle of it. I mentioned that before, but I, I couldn't remember if I <laughs> ever showed anything related to that. But yeah, see that star pattern in the tree? It's crazy. More fives, more fives. Uh, we got some paper, I guess, a stamp. Some bottles of stuff. Uh, a press. Maybe for pressing a book together. Some more bottles and paper and making sure all the papers lined up. Making books. Just making books in here. That's what I'm thinking. And we got a nice stove. Oh, look at this. Uh he burned something. He burned a linking book. Why would he do that? Hmm. Didn't he want linking books? Why would he burn one? You don't think that's the book I came here with, uh, do you? <laughs> I really hope not. Hmm. I'll check out this table first because it doesn't have a a scary looking book that I have to read on it. So we have this thing. Ooh, it's like a Bunsen burner. But it's got water in it. Whoa. Dude. It made the water move to the top. That's so crazy. So yeah, heat. Heat is the key. <laughs> if you have something heated, I guess the water just moves away from it in this world. It's really bizarre. It's cool though. What we got in here? Uh, a bunch of eggs? Maybe? Collecting eggs? That's it? That's the only one I can open? He's got so many other drawers! Got a, it's got a thing here. What, what is this? Hmm. Okay. Some medical equipment, I guess. Okay, Ooh, I'm back. <laughs> Game crashed again. Oh. Uh, I guess I shouldn't mess with that anymore. Uh, he's got some little sample things, and uh, here's the cage again. The live trap thing. It's got some bottles. Oh no. Oh no. He's capturing the frogs and doing weird experiments on them. What a jerk. Look at those poor helpless froggies. Okay. Uh, yikes. What is he doing? <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out very, very soon. Uh. Oh, hello. Oh, it's the one eye. Well, it's not where it's supposed to be, and it's not making any noise. Bummer. Let's see what this says. Last week, while monitoring the situation of the villagers from the scope in my survey room, I observed one of the natives swim out to a small object that appeared to be floating, but anchored near the entrance to the bay. I ordered the object removed from the water for inspection. Several days later, however, I was... Surprised to see another floating there. Well, they replaced it. 
The missing object had apparently, and quite mysteriously, been replaced with a new one overnight. I've long been aware of the existence of similar artifacts on the villagers' island, but have paid them little notice until now. Tomorrow, I shall send surveyors to catalog the others. Shoot! Don't do that, Gen! You jerk! You're gonna figure it out! Alright, so this one uh, was floating in the in the little lake thing in, in the middle of that village. And I think... Uh, you remember that red ring we saw when we were like... Uh, in the submetrain thing? I think that's where it might have been. Uh, not that it really matters where exactly, but... Uh, yeah, it was basically sitting in the bay. So, whatever animal is tied to this might be tied to the bay in some way. So, coup. Uh, we got a... Yikes, this looks like some kind of weapon. Look, it's got a bayonet on it. A really primitive looking gun? I don't know. What is this thing? Yikes. Ah, uh, we got some ink. Got some other thing and uh, some other thing. Right on. And this cool looking planet thing. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Some nuts or something. And a book! A journal or something. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Wow. Oh, he's got he's got some important information in here. Oh snap. Okay. Wow. This is gonna be this is gonna be a long one. <laughs> oh my god, it just keeps on going. Okay. Well, I will read that um, off screen, I guess. And I'll put a little link in the description and also a, a nice little card thing in the corner here. I just learned how to use those cards on YouTube. Those are really neato. You just like click that little eye in the corner uh, and you could have a whole bunch. Like, I think you could have like five different links to videos, to other videos or whatever you want. It's pretty neato. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. Read that off screen. So, anywho. <laughs> Hopefully I won't need any of that information uh, right now. Because we're going to go check out the other island. Let's go. Oh, man. To the big dome island. Ooh, it's shiny. And, uh, before we angled the steam up to this, right? So this should be working. Yes. Sweet, man. Thank goodness we did that. It would be very annoying to have to go all the way around to angle the steam and then come all the way back. <laughs> Hello. We're back. But now we're on this side. Uh, so we can go out there and we could extend this platform. Finally! Yes! All right, I'm going to I'm going to do this too now that we can do that. <laughs> so, whenever we do get back to the the first island we were on, we should be able to take this neato staircase. Mhm. Mm oh yeah. All right, let's go check out what's out here. Uh, oh, oh. Well, shoot. What's over there? Wow. I don't know. It just keeps on. Oh, hello. It's a Bootin. Yo. 
Yes. We did it. Cool, man. Wow. Oh, there's the spinning ball. How do we get out there? Uh... Good question. <laughs> Where does that bridge go? Uh, hmm. Right on. Hmm. Oh, wow. So this is like a shortcut into that uh, spinning room area. Oh, how nice. If you couldn't notice, I am actually... I haven't practiced this part at all, so I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> yeah, that bridge just goes from down there, huh? Did I miss that somewhere? I don't know. Anywho, uh, let's see where we are here. Um, I'm going to have to turn it a few, few times, maybe two. Maybe one? I think we'll have to turn it at least two times, because we got to get... Yeah. Yeah, two more times. Dude, what could possibly be on top of that huge golden dome thing? Gotta be good. I think we're getting really close to uh, solving some major puzzles here. Uh, if I remember correctly, which I probably don't, <laughs> I'm gonna have to read that journal for sure. Because um, I think it has some really important information in it. That I probably have to write down. This is it. Oh, yeah. Take me to the top of the dome. Take me to the top of the dome. Whoa. A little light lighting here. Wow, what why is this building so huge? What is happening here? Uh a lever. Well, okay then. That's pretty intense. Oh my god. Okay, so... <laughs> this thing here is uh, all the Tetris pieces, see here? You can kind of see the darker outlines. Same as that panel on uh, the map island place we went to with the topography stuff. So, what we have to do... Oh. Let me see if I can remember here. <laughs> so each of these colors, these colored balls, we can put these on here in specific coordinates. Um, if you remember from the big fish aquarium thing, there were different colored lights, right? And they were all matched up to different eye shapes. So that's what this is. The the different colored lights you match up to the eye shape and the eye shape you match up to the domes in the different islands. And the domes in the different islands you have to find in the topography map and not just what like square region they're in, the exact coordinates 
of where the dome is. <laughs> That's what we have to do. Um, there's only one, two, three, four, five, and there's six colored balls. So one of these is not going to be used. Um, so anyway, I, I wrote down the, the colors and the eyeballs in the aquarium. Uh, but we... Uh, we haven't seen all the domes yet. So I don't really feel like I can do this right now. Um, yeah, and I got to do all that topography stuff too. Ugh. Okay, so this is going to take some doing on my part. <laughs> but anyway, that's this is our goal now. This is the culmination of pretty much all the puzzles in Riven right now. Other than that uh, animal animal uh, stone thing. Can I go through this? No, I can't. Okay. So anyway, that, that's what we're going to be working towards. Um, yeah. Okay, then. So, what am I going to do now? Um, excellent question. Most excellent. I think... You know what I never did show? Once we powered up this telescope, I never showed it doing anything. So it's still it's still blank. Um, but we can push this button and it it freaks out. We can do this and push this, and we can make it lower slowly. So without opening this, we don't know the combo for this right now. Uh, it might be in that journal actually, but uh, right now we don't know this combo. Uh, but we can lower this telescope thing so we can look inside whatever's inside this manhole. Um, that's pretty much what that is. Yeah, I think I'm going to head back into Gen's lab and uh, read that journal. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm pretty much going to end this episode here, I think. So next time we will pick up where we left off um, I'll kind of explain what I found inside the journal that's useful for us to solve some puzzles. And uh, maybe we can solve this marble puzzle. That would be good. That would be good. Except we haven't been to all the domes yet. I gotta find a way to get to the domes. We've been to... We've been to some of them, but... Definitely not all of them. And one of the domes on Map Island didn't have a... Uh, like it was off center. So we did, we don't even know what eyeball that one matches up to. <laughs> so we gotta have to do like process of elimination, I think. Oh my god. Alright. Well, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get her done. No worries. No worries. So, uh... Yeah, oh man, how do I get down there? Can I just take this elevator, actually? Dang it. It's too far. Maybe there's a button on that thing. I can just ride it down. I've been down there, haven't I? I don't know. Anyway, well, I'm going to stop uh, doing whatever I'm doing right now. Uh, next time, <laughs> we will um, continue on. Uh... I promise I'll figure out what to do. Promise. So, yeah. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> See you guys next time.